Now, Weather on the Threes, sponsored by Bufalo Contracting. Well, time for us to have a look at our forecast. Well, come back in here as we get going on a Tuesday, and we'll look for temperatures to pretty much top out same as they did yesterday, mid-50s. And still going to be breezy today, but not nearly as windy as it was for us yesterday. Live look at the Rockford Siding and Windows River Cam, starting off with cloudy skies. And we will go on to see mostly cloudy skies here throughout the course of the day. Seeing that play out on Max Storm Tracker radar here. I don't know that we'll have to deal with the pesky light rain like we did yesterday for our Monday forecast. So uh, some encouragement here for us in the forecast. But Again, still going to be breezy looking at northwest winds uh, anywhere between a good 15 25 today and they could gust up to 30 right now. Wind speeds pretty much clocking in at that 10 mile per hour range just enough to make the low 40s feel like the mid and upper 30s. So you know, there's some bite to the air for us this morning. That is for sure. Uh, right now 42 at RFD feels like 37. And again, we've got those winds out of the west, northwest, right around 10. Forecast by time, rather cloudy skies expected today. And then tonight, we'll actually clear those clouds out. And that will set the stage for a beautiful run of weather here for the rest of the week. And some milder temperatures to come our way, too. Today, mid-50s. Tonight, down to 32. 61 tomorrow, some sunshine. And then 72 coming up on Thursday. Plenty of sunshine for us there. Seven day forecast, few clouds around on Friday, 70, 75 on Saturday, upper 70s on Sunday and Monday. There are some shower thunderstorm chances there. It won't be a washout, but with those warmer temperatures and spring being here, could have some of those showers and thunderstorms that do trigger. Hey, guess what time it is? It's time for First Alert Weather Watchers, sponsored by Bainey Construction and Restoration. Beautiful picture here from Patrice over Freeport Way. Got some dew on the blades of grass there. Uh, and look at that sunshine popping up. Got to take the sunshine and play here on this picture because we're not going to see much of a play out on our live cameras this morning. So big thank you to Patrice for sending that one to us. Don't forget to take your picture horizontally. Go to WIFR.com, see it, send it. You can also use that QR code there that's right smack dab in the middle of the screen. Upload your photo to the First Alert Weather Watchers folder, and we can share it right here on the program. Well, Aaron, you're famous for being able to identify locations based no on just a No idea. <laughs> There's a tiny building yeah. in the background. Really? Uh, I didn't even see there that. There is. Okay. Left corner. I'm just kidding. Yeah. I got a way I can get an answer, though. As oh. I was getting ready to do this forecast, it just so happens that she jumped on my Facebook post and said, Hey, Patrice. I just woke up this morning, and what do I see? <laughs> My photo on the Weather Watchers. There you go. That's the magic of Weather Watchers. Yeah, so I'll just send her a little message, and we'll get some de deets. All right. Get the details. Well, good morning, okay. Patrice. Thank good you. Good morning, Patrice, and <laughs> thanks for that contribution. Thanks for getting down low there for that one. Either that or you just dropped your camera and accidentally took a beautiful shot. I don't know. It could be That's too. some good luck. It That's turned a, out that good. A lot of, I think there was a little planning involved in that <laughs> one. All right. Let's see what uh, Patrice has to say.